Okay, next topic, internal audits and finalising audit reports. So why don't we try and find the audit register first. Click on red, hover over registers, click on audits. Now what I'm actually doing is going back and finding a couple of audits that were done recently and just to check the final status of those reports. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on actual. Um, this then sorts all of them. They're the ones that actually haven't been done yet. There's where they start. If I click it again, it'll go in the reverse order. And there we have the two audits done. A couple of audits done are made, both done by John Finneran. Okay, John, let's see. Let's double check on the document management procedure. So I'm going to right click on this, on view, open in a new tab. Just means that the register can stay um, open and we can um, look at other aspects and so I've got a new tab and here it is here it was uh, on document management it was done by John it was apparently done on me it was last done there it's been done here so the actual date was done was Friday 27 thank you very much proved they were any open reviews no the report seems to be that's good when you click on this um, it's got John's um, hard copy printed and scanned and marked up document perfect which he's then uploaded it's been reported however he hasn't sought any acceptance hasn't planned the next audit date hasn't created the next audit and the status hasn't changed so why don't we try and do that right now and we'll just confirm that when you're completing your audit reports ladies and gentlemen make sure that you do all this sort of stuff so let's go do that let's hit the edit button We have whatever, that's an automatic process, that's all good, that's good. Previous results, open reviews, no. Oh, maybe at the end I'll show you how we do an open review. Are there any open reviews in document review? So we can go back to the original thing, go to the register, look at reviews, looking at any sort of document management issues, no. You can also find it if we go back. On the actual, I'm going to right click on this, open a new tab. You know, here, if you actually look at the actual document itself, down here will be any open audits, open reviews, there are any problems. Okay, but this one there doesn't. So go back to the order report. I need to edit. And any open reviews, correct? No. Procedure seems to meet requirements. So that's very good. You can type in anything here. Um, you can even take a photograph of your handwritten notes and upload it here. So that's another one. John did the right thing. Put it in here. That's great. If there's any other files you want to do. Has it been reported? So we have three. Uh, none. Yes. No. Sent. Um, in this case, all you have to do is... If, especially if it's an OK result, you just have to send me an email saying the audit's been done, uh, no, no uh, problems with the findings. So then you can click that it's been reported. Has it been accepted? Nine times out of ten, if you're sending good news, it will be accepted. If you've had to send an email and wait for a response, you hit that, and you can't finalise this. Well, this always default to, look, it's got to be accepted. The next audit, all right roughly a year's time so let's put it May 2017 let's pick the last day so that's the next order do we need to create the order the answer is always yes so create it so that means the system will create another order around this time and the status says it's gone from planned there were no reviews which if it was put there but at the moment it's click OK email pops off to me once you've done that you can just put updated report and stuff. Hit save. And it's all it defaults back to the register. If we want to just check on that. And do it again. And there it is, all up to date. Well done, John. Over to you to fix the next one. Bye for now, guys.